Hello Lethbridge, Steve Domaluski here with McFadden Honda. Welcome to Test Drive Tuesday where we're driving this beautiful 2021 Honda CRV Touring. Just remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. The, uh, the Honda CRV is equipped with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It puts out an amazing 180 horsepower as well as 179 foot pounds of torque. So nice and torquey, but also great on fuel. This CRV is equipped with LED headlights, LED fog lights, which are actually in a really cool horizontal uh, fashion. And it also is riding on these gorgeous 19 inch wheels. All the Honda CRV trims are equipped with what we call the capless fuel filler. And the CRVs are amazing on fuel where they get 8.1 liters per hundred combined between highway and city driving. Now the CRV Touring is equipped with the hands-free power tailgate. So all I have to do is a simple soccer kick underneath and the tailgate will raise up. The other cool part about the CRV is you can actually set the height. So if I don't need this high, I can actually set it lower by pulling down and pressing this uh, button here for two seconds. It'll give it two chirps and now it will always set to that height. If you're looking for space, the CRV definitely has quite a bit of it. So if you're looking for space for strollers or camping equipment, you have 39.2 cubic feet of space in just this area, but you also have the handles here to set the seats down. Now with the seats down, you actually have 75.8 cubic feet of space. Tons of space for any of those big Costco runs or any of those long family trips. And if you're looking for even more space, you have a height adjustable cargo floor here. So all I have to do is pull down on this tab, push down, you get an extra inch to inch and a half of space. And the cool part is if I lift up on this and I push it up here, it makes it so much easier to grab my spare tire. And great news, the Honda CRV is one of the safest vehicles on the road. They have six different safety systems called Honda Sensing. One of them uses, or a couple of them actually use this camera up here, which is for lane keep assist. So if you get a little too close to the line on the road going over 70K, it'll actually steer you back into the center. And it also works with your lane departure warning. So if you get a little too close to that line on the road, it shakes the steering wheel and road departure mitigation. So if you get off that road going over 70, It'll actually notice that tilt in the, uh, the ditch and it will stop you before you get into some farmer's field. You also have this radar system which works with the other three safety systems. This radar system does your forward collision warning. So if you get a little too close to somebody too fast, it's gonna audibly alert you and pop up with a brake symbol. If that continues, it will start to apply the brakes using collision mitigation braking system. The last one is probably the most useful and my favorite. This is what we call adaptive cruise control with low speed follow. So say you set your cruise at 120, the person in front of you is doing 110. Once it sees that car within that distance, it slows you down to their speed and keeps that distance. Now, if that person comes to a stop in front of you, the CRV will stop. It's incredible. You have to try it out on one of the test drives. And another one of my favorite parts about the CRV is that this door opens a full 85 degrees. So it makes it really easy if you have anybody with car seats or anybody with mobility issues. But one of the things I always like to test out and see is if I fit in the back seat. I don't fit in a lot of them. I'm six foot three, six foot four right in there. So what I do is I set the seat all the way back for the driver's seat and I sit back here. Now the nice part is I have a ton of space. Now with the Honda CRV Touring, one second. And with the Honda CRV Touring, you have every option that you can possibly have in a CRV. That includes the big panoramic moonroof, heated front seats and heated rear seats, heated steering wheel, which is one of my favorite things in the winter time, built-in Garmin navigation with four years of free updates, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plus, Sirius XM for the first three months on no charge. All right, and another cool addition on the CRV Touring is the wireless charger here. So all I have to do is put my phone here and I can charge it for those long drives, but you can also turn it off in case you're not using it. The one warning that I will give is do not put any of your keys or any metal objects on here because they will become really hot to the top. So usually I go into the history on the CRVs or give you some really cool facts, but 
What I wanted to do on this one is, I actually own a CRV Touring and I love my vehicle. So I just wanted to let you know some of the things that I thought were really, really cool, what Honda did with the designs and some of the things that I really love about my own. Now this one's a little bit of a biased remark, but one of my favorite things on the CRV, especially in the Touring, is the wood grain trim along the doors, along the dash and along the back doors too. I think it's a very classy thing that Honda has done to the CRVs. Some people disagree with me and I, I understand their points 100%, but it's one of my favorite things. Now, as far as visibility goes, the CRV out of all the vehicles that I've owned, and I've owned about 20 different vehicles, a lot of them being pickup trucks from my previous career, but the CRV has the best visibility out of all of them. And one of the things that I love on my CRV is the blind spot information. So that way I can, because I don't have the best neck in the world, but I can definitely see a lot when I do my shoulder checks, when I have that little car in that mirror telling me it's not safe to merge over. I absolutely love it. It's so cool and so helpful. Now, I don't notice too much for road noise when it comes to the CRV. But one of the things that I do like that uh, might get me into trouble one day is it's nice and peppy and it's fun to drive. Now for a, a, a mid-sized SUV, you don't always think, ah, they're fun to drive, but I have enough power to get going, especially with that turbo. And I like the torque on it. It's super fun. When you shift it into sport mode, it changes those shift points on the CVT, makes it a lot more fun to drive, but the fuel economy that comes with it is car to is it, it you, nobody can beat it that's why i love this car so much well thank you so much for joining us on uh, test drive tuesday uh the one of the things that i always recommend to anybody is if you're looking for a mid-size suv that has a ton of cargo space is fun to drive super safe incredibly reliable you owe it to yourself to come check out the 21 honda crvs or any of the other crvs that we happen to have in our inventory remember to like comment share and subscribe and lastly love what you drive